hi everyone welcome to my youtube channel on pet courses in this video we will discuss ad mob ad limited issue nowadays many developer face face ad limited issue uh, that's why i am making this video to help you how to fix ad limited issue ad mob ad limited issue mainly caused by interstitial ad so first of all we will discuss interstitial ad recommended way so let's have a look first of all to avoid account suspension or ad limited issue you will always <coughs> use latest SDK of Edmo because in latest SDK they add new feature and they fix the bugs so always use the latest SDK is recommended second you will check that is an interstitial ad is the correct ad format for your app interstitial ad is only suitable for app which have linear user experience so what is linear user experience let's have a look suppose this is uh, the app which have a uh, very clear starting and end point and this app have linear user experience uh, uh, this app have a uh, uh, login screen registration uh, registration screen home screen then uh, find cap screen so this is uh, this app have user linear flow so you can place interstitial add between the contents but in case of this uh, flash light app this app only have one activity so if you place interstitial add in such type of ad uh, app they, then you will definitely be banned from uh, displaying this interstitial ad and your account will have uh, uh, ad limited issue so please avoid uh, this type of interstitial ad in uh, the app which does not have linear user experience let's discuss some disallowed and allowed uh, interstitial ad implementation in this first example uh, you cannot show interstitial ad on app load or exit for example when user click on home screen and the app icon then if you show interstitial ad then app load screen or in a splat screen then the main screen of your app then this is totally disallowed you cannot implement interstitial ad in such a way so please avoid this type of implementation next you cannot repeat interstitial ad for example when user choose an action then you show first inter interstitial when user close this interstitial then you uh, you show the second interstitial then you go to the next page so this is totally disallowed if you follow this uh, technique implementation then you will got ad limited issue in your uh, admob account next uh, if you uh, implement it interstitial ad that uh, impact the navigation so you will be got banned from uh, the uh, admob account for example if user uh, choose any uh, any action then you show interstitial ad after that you show the same navigation then you show the second interstitial so uh, this is totally disallowed uh, when user uh, choose any action then you can uh, show interstitial ad then after closing interstitial ad you will show the next screen to the uh, to the user so uh, please avoid this type of implementation next uh, interstitial ad that unexpectedly launch for example user click on app on home screen then you show home screen of the app after that uh, user does not uh, 
click anything the anything and uh, you show the interstitial ad then you show the home screen again so this is totally unexpected launch uh, you cannot uh, uh, surprise you user by uh, ad if you surprise user uh, by interstitial ad then your account will, will be limited next is in interstitial launch after page load if you are interstitial launch after uh, page load then this is totally uh, disallowed example for example uh, user click on any action uh, then you show the uh, next page uh, after that you show uh, the interstitial ad so this is totally uh, um, disallowed please avoid this so this is the example of uh, how you can fix the interstitial ad implementation uh, for, for example uh, when user click on any action then you will show the interstitial ad first then the next screen uh, at the end so this is the allowed example of interstitial ad thanks for watching please subscribe to my youtube channel